What's up guys, my name is Anthony and I don't have an intro now, I'm bringing you another story time commentary, but this one is a little different than my normal. Usually what I do is I take a story from a while ago and I tell you guys it, but this is actually going to be a story of what happened over the weekend for me. This was kind of a crazy weekend for me, not in the sense that I partied every day, but in the sense that I was doing a lot of stuff that I wasn't expecting to do. So let's hop into it. Alright guys, so really quickly, a breakdown of my usual week. Monday through Thursdays are very busy for me between basketball, school, and homework. So those days I usually can't do much unless I'm just hanging out with a friend for a little bit at night. So Fridays I usually am free to do whatever I want and I use those days to go out and see movies and whatnot. So come 4 o'clock on Friday, I'm just relaxing, I'm not really doing anything. I was thinking about having a large commentary recording session because personally I like to record 4 or 5 commentaries at once and then sporadically release them throughout the week so I was about to do that whenever I got a phone call from my dad now something that a lot of you guys don't know is that I'm 17 years old. A lot of you guys think I'm a lot older from my voice. I've gotten 20, I've gotten 30, sometimes I've even gotten 40. And then one time a guy thought I was about Woody's age, so I don't know, maybe 6,000 years old, which is ridiculous. I'm 17 years old, I'm a youngin. And as for those of you who saw my I Almost Killed My Friend commentary, you know that I got my license later than I should have, and I just got my license whenever I turned 17 back in May. So, back in May, which is about five or six months ago, my dad told me that I was going to have to go to driving school to ensure that I would be a safe driver if I wanted to keep my license. And at this point, I just wanted to get my license so bad that I would have agreed to anything. So in a heartbeat, I said yes. So, apparently, my dad had signed me up for the driving school way back then and had forgotten to tell me that it was actually going to be in September. So, come Friday at about 4 o'clock p.m., I get a phone call from my dad telling me that this driving school was today. Now, he told me that Friday night from 6 to 10, there was a class, and Saturday from 8 in the morning till 4 at night, there was a road test. So, I had about two hours to get ready and drive out, which was an hour away from my house, to this class to sit and listen to this guy lecture us about driving for four hours. Now, Friday night was about as fun as you thought it would be. He literally, just for four hours, told us not to drink and drive, not to text while we drive, not to speed, not to drag race, etc, 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 and kind of just scared the crap out of me with a couple of videos of people crashing and dying. So that was really pretty much four of the most boring hours of my entire life. So, after this class gets out at 10 o'clock, I decide to give my friend a call who I haven't seen in a while because he lives in the area and I haven't been able to see him since it's an hour away. And he told me that he, we should go get dinner, so we went out to Steak and Shake and I had some bacon, of course. I had the double bacon cheeseburger. You guys know what I would get. And we had a really fun night, but then I ended up getting home around 1 o'clock in the morning. So, pretty much as soon as I got home, I realized how early I was going to have to wake up. I was going to have to wake up at 6.30 in the morning so I could get out to this driving range. Now, this was at a different place, but it was just about as far away. Now, I got ready and I left the house at about 7 o'clock just so I could get there at 8. But I got lost, and to add on top of that, the place where I was going, there was such bad fog that I swear to God I could have cut it with a knife. So, whenever I get to this place, I realize that it is not only a car range, but it is also a gun range. So every couple of minutes, you hear a gun firing, and that was kind of creepy in itself. So I quickly realized that this road test is going to be consisting of us just trying not to hit a cone. We had to do a serpentine, a reverse serpentine, which is just going in and out of the cones and then in and out of the cones in reverse. We had to back up, we had to accelerate and turn quickly, and actually it wasn't that bad except for the fact that it was so hot, and in Florida there's something called a love bug, and those love bugs just smash all over your car and they are ridiculous. So, even though I much rather would have slept in on my Saturday and the love bugs are still all over my car, I still need to go out and wash them off, it wasn't that terrible and it was actually a little bit of fun by the end of the day because we actually got to do donuts in a cop car. Now, technically, we were learning what to do if our car spun out on us, but in reality, it was kind of like doing a legal donut, and that was actually a lot of fun. So, eventually, at 4 o'clock, this thing ended, and I got home around 5 o'clock, and as soon as I got home, I laid down on my bed, and I just passed out. I was so tired. I ended up waking up around 7.30 to a phone call from my friend. 
Now, my friend basically said that he was coming to my house, he was picking me up, and that we were going to go see a movie with a girl he likes. So, it was basically like we were going to go see a movie and I was going to be the wingman. Now, you guys all know what it's like whenever you first wake up. You're not really thinking, so I just said, yeah, sure, whatever, without even asking what movie we were going to go see. Now, as we were nearing the movie theater, which was a good hour and a half away from my house, I found out that we were seeing Abduction starring Taylor Lautner. Now, guys, I am usually a pretty easygoing movie critic, but I could go on for a good three hours on how terrible this movie was. There was no plot to it. The small plot that there was had so many holes, and the acting was terrible. Honestly, guys, one of the worst movies I've ever seen, and like I said, I'm pretty easy whenever it comes to rating movies, but this was just ridiculously bad. So, even though the movie was pretty terrible, it was still a lot of fun because I went with one of my good friends and we had a lot of fun making fun of Taylor Lautner's terrible acting. So, once again, this movie ended at about 11.30, it was a good hour or hour and a half away from my house, and I got back to my home about 1 in the morning yet again. So finally, I think that I'm gonna get a good night's sleep, but I am wrong yet again. I wake up at 9.30 in the morning to a phone call from one of my friends. She says that she's stranded somewhere, she doesn't have a ride home, and she wants me to come pick her up, and I'm too nice of a guy to say no to that. So I get in my car, I go pick her up, and once I'm up, I'm not the type of person who can fall back asleep, so I was up for the day. But, similar to the past couple of days, this day quickly turned into a lot of fun as well as I ended up going to a pool party out of nowhere with the girl with a lot of other attractive girls in minimal clothing and guys, how could that not be fun? But anyways, that was my weekend. Not my normal weekend by any stretch of the term, but I actually ended up having a pretty good time. Alright guys, one last thing I want to mention is that I still could use some Black Ops clips that are kind of BS, like blop shots and whatnot, so if you have those, send them in to me, I'm going to use them for a song, a goodbye Black Ops, I could really use them. Anyways, that's it for me, remember to rate the video and I'll catch you guys later. Deuces Bacon!